Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Scorpio for mid-month of November 2020. I am calling these my mid-month minis, so you're going to get a quick uh, heads up as to what is going on for the rest of the month. And also, if you haven't, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I do have new videos coming out every single week, as well as going live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, so let's see what's happening here. So the overall energy here is the Hermit. So for the rest of the month, you might feel a little isolated, um, definitely kind of like going within here. What I love, though, is I'm going to move on quickly over here and we'll come back to the overall message. But the five of cups here. So really about looking at the things that aren't going well here. So or things that are changing. So you want to make sure that you're always looking at the possibilities and opportunities around you. Just because things feel like they're falling apart or just because things don't be going, aren't going the exactly the way that you want them to, doesn't mean that the universe isn't working behind the scenes in your favor. So even though you might not like what's going on right this second, there's so much that you could look to, to be positive and grateful for. So this is about stop focusing on the things that are going wrong um, and start to focus on what is going right. So changing your perception. And that might take you into the hermit mode where you might have to kind of let go of everything on the outside right now, like maybe even the people around you, situations that are going on, the drama, the news, the media, and really just be real with yourself and be alone with yourself so that you can start to really identify what those positive things that you should be grateful for right now, okay? Because... You've got the High Priestess card. So this is also telling me, we also have the Unknown card here. This is telling me that you might not be aware of your abilities to connect to your spirit guide, to your angels, to God, to whoever you believe is on, you know, your, your savior. But definitely um, being able to identify or even be aware that they're around you. So again, when we are focusing on all of the negativity, all the things that didn't happen, we're not giving a chance to our spirit guides or the universe or God, whatever you, you believe in. Um, you're not giving a chance to them to be able to support you. You're kind of blocking them out because when you're in the negativity, your vibration is so low that they can't really come down to your level. So definitely start to focus on the positivity. Look at your life and ask yourself, what am I grateful for? And especially with November, with Thanksgiving coming up, um, definitely a good time to really start to get really clear and focusing on your connection to the divine. And again, it's going to take some time like going within and it's, it's, it's isolation period for you. So take a few days. They're only giving me a few days. So just take a few days in the next couple of weeks to really kind of sit with yourself and maybe journal. They're showing me journaling. So maybe journal it out as to like, what have you been focusing on that is, you know, lowering your vibration rather than increasing it and raising it. So what can you do differently? What, how can you think differently? Okay. And we've got the balance card. And again, third eye chakra. This actually happened in another reading. High Priestess, Third Eye Chakra. So they are definitely showing me that there's connection, but you're not hearing. So this could be your intuition, right? Your higher self is trying to communicate with you, but you're not hearing it because you're not, you're focused on the wrong things. So balance. Where are you out of balance in your life right now? Is it too much work? Is it with the kids? Is it this whole COVID thing? Is it watching the media? Is it social media? You know, addicted to social media, um, addicted to other things. Like, where is your life out of balance? And this is why the hermit mode is the overall energy for the rest of the month for you. It's because you really have to get clear with yourself here as to see where are you out of balance? And now how can you connect to the divine? How can you maybe start meditating um, start just, you know, practice your breathing and really get clear as to how to get your life back in balance. No matter what is going on on the outside world, it is possible to get your mind and your life back in balance. All right. So I hope that makes sense to you. Let me know in the comments below if that resonates with you. I also do have five spots left for my From Pain to Power mentorship for the month of November. So if you're interested in a eight-week deep healing program to heal from toxic relationships, 
by really diving deep into your childhood. You can see if you're a good fit for it in the description box and also in the comments below. But take the time out this for the rest of the month and really connect and especially like on the holiday, like let go of anything that you're thinking of and just be present. Just be present. All right, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love. Bye-bye.